Hi, and welcome back to Focal Point AAFR Talk. Great to have you in the conversation today. Uh, and I am uh, still proud. I want to be very clear on this. I love Rush Limbaugh. I admire Rush Limbaugh. I'm still proud of the fact that the Democratic underground said that I am Rush Limbaugh on bath salts. I'm not taking back, uh, not taking back uh, any of that. Now, here, here, here's, the, here's the bigger issue. Again, I have said that Barack Obama wins on immigration either way. If he's able to convince the Republicans, and he's, he's on offense now, because the Republicans have said, well, we're going to make them pay fines, we're going to make them pay taxes, they got to wait in line, it's going to be years before they can even apply for a green card, it's going to be years before they can even think about applying for citizenship. And then Barack Obama sweeps in and says, hey, I'll make you a citizen tomorrow. Who's going to look like the mean one there? Marco Rubio is going to look like the mean one. And this is the agenda. There's one agenda of the Democratic Party right now, the liberals, and that is to make the GOP out to be the mean party. Remember, Bobby Jindal says we got to stop being the stupid party. Bobby, it doesn't matter. Why are you even paying attention to what they're saying? Because you know they're going to, by definition, in their worldview, conservatives are stupid. We're dumb. We're ignorant. We're uneducated. We're backwoods hicks. We don't know what we're talking about. That's their understanding. They think we're Neanderthals. We're Cro-Magnons, every one of them. So they just assume, as a default point of view, uh, that we're stupid. That's their worldview. So you're never going to convince them of anything different. They're never going to think of us any different way. So why do you even listen? Why do you let them brand you as the stupid party? Why do you let them do it? Why are you branding us as the stupid party when our ideas are the ideas that work? Don't let them brand you. You're letting them put your brand right on your hide. This is the stupid party. Bobby Jindal says, yeah, we're the stupid party. Look at the brand right here on my hide. Uh, that, that's, you know, why do we even, you know, Ted Cruz, stop reading the New York Times. Stop listening to the New York Times. Because Republican, the conservative ideas, I mean, let's scrap Republican, conservative ideas are not stupid. They are wise. They work. They are strategic. Every one of them, conservatism works every single solitary time it is tried. We don't have to apologize for a single solitary conservative idea because they're not stupid. And people who advocate them are not stupid. doesn't mean they may misspeak on occasion or maybe don't put things eloquently. But Todd Akin, I mean, there is such a thing as illegitimate rape. Roe v. Wade. Roe v. Wade was predicated on the false accusation of rape. Norma McCorvey said, I wasn't raped. I lied about that. We have Roe v. Wade. We got 55 million dead babies. Why? Because a rape that was not a legitimate rape was the basis for that whole case. So was Todd Akin right? Absolutely. There is such a thing as legitimate rape, and there are also cases where a woman claims it's rape, but it wasn't. It was consensual. She changes her mind. She lies about it for some political purpose like Norma uh, McCorvey did. So Todd Akin was right. That wasn't stupid. He was right. Uh, he was right on the money. He was uh, completely accurate about that. So our ideas are not stupid. And the people that advocate them are not stupid. So, if so, so the agenda of the of the Democrats, if they can't convince people that Republicans are stupid, then their next objective is to convince us that we are mean. And I've got a story in here about Bobby Jindal. This is why it's just silly for Bobby Jindal to give in to this branding business and let them put that brand on our hide uh, when there's nothing to it. Because he's making some common sense reforms in their welfare programs. And here, here's, here's the headline on Think Progress. Louisiana will eliminate health benefits for HIV patients, poor children, and first-time moms. And then a big picture of Bobby Jindal. Oh, oh, so, Bobby, it doesn't matter if, if, you're, if they're not going to brand you as the stupid party. Nobody's going to try to convince uh, the American public that Bobby Jindal is stupid. He's obviously not. He's obviously bright, obviously brilliant. So what do they do? Just going to make you the mean party. And there's no way that Bobby Jindal is going to get away from that tag. If he's going to let the New York Times brand us, going to let the mainstream media brand us, then they'll be happy to exchange the stupid party for the mean party. And, and there's Think Progress. Picture of Bobby Jindal. Louisiana will eliminate health benefits for HIV patients, poor children, and first-time moms. So what's the story? Republicans are mean. So if Obama is able to get this legalization thing through, then he wins because he's got 12 million Democrat votes sewed up, locked up. 
Uh, if he, even if he loses, that's why he doesn't even care whether he wins this thing, because even if he loses, by contrast, he's going to be able to paint the Republicans as mean. They don't like uh, Hispanics. They're xenophobic. They don't like strangers. They hate you. I'm the one that loves you. I want to make you a citizen tomorrow. They want to make you jump through these hoops for 15 years. So he wins uh, e either way. Now, here is Rachel Maddow, clip number two, and this is the ultimate explanation uh, as, as to why it's foolish for Marco Rubio and the Amnesty Aid and any Republican to, be, to sign on uh, to that plan. Rachel Maddow puts her finger right on the issue. Let's listen. But now, just a few months down the road, Republicans are embracing the president's whole approach to the problem. He has stood still, and they have moved. And they have moved because they think their own toxicity with Latino voters is forcing them to move. But there is one last factor here. There's one last immovable truth here for which this remarkable Republican freakout and reversal does not account. And that is the great big outside the beltway secret that Latino voters are really liberal, really liberal. So Rachel Maddow says, look, and, and this is what this is what Republicans, you know, maybe maybe, you know, maybe they are the stupid party after all, because what they do not get is people who immigrate here from a socialist country like Mexico are used to big government. They expect big government. They want big government. They expect the government to provide goodies and benefits to them. That's what they've seen. That's what they've observed. And the reason they come to America is America is richer than Mexico, so they got more goodies to give away. And that's what they're here for. I mean, if the Republicans think that what's driving illegal immigrants from South and Central America is American citizenship, they're just wrong. They're here for the goodies. They're here for the benefits. They're not here to become citizens. They've got no interest in assimilating. That's why you have to start tacking on these language uh, requirements because they don't care about that. Uh, if they can not have to learn English and still have their jobs and, and be able to get welfare benefits, they're fine. Uh, with that. So the Republicans, I think, are being fooled in thinking that they have any way to, to gain realistic inroads into the illegal alien population, that somehow this is going to help them with the uh, Hispanic vote. It won't. And, and Rachel Maddow puts her finger on exactly why. The reason is that Latino voters are liberal. They are really uh, liberal. So the only way you're going to make inroads is not by pandering to them, but by explaining to them conservative principles and Part of that is the rule of the law, is, is the rule of law. We don't let people break our immigration law with impunity, but this is what I'm afraid the Amnesty 8 program does. It allows them to become legalized instantaneously with no real uh, penalty. That's never going to be revoked. That, that, that status is never going to be uh, taken away from them. So anyway, that's uh, where we're at on the immigration thing. I want to shift gears just a little bit, if we can, Rob, and 